Taking a look at data for Kern homicides year to year, a majority of the cases have one thing in common, a known motive. Loved ones and investigators often can pinpoint a reason for the violence. The victim was in a volatile relationship, in a gang, or dealing drugs, or the unfortunate target of a burglary gone bad. So what happens when police have a victim who appeared to have no enemies and no reason to be in danger? 17's Olivia LaVoice tonight takes a look at one case where the reason why the victim was murdered is even more mysterious than the identity of the suspect. Olivia? Well, Jim, the facts of this case, in the words of the victim's loved ones, are simply baffling. It's the type of case that should have Bakersfield residents concerned for their safety. By all accounts, 49-year-old Corey Powers was a hardworking family man living in a safe neighborhood on the same street as several law enforcement officers. No one can rationalize how this happened to Corey or why. Tuesday, July 3rd, started off promising, the beginning of a long holiday weekend. He was excited because it was his fourth Fourth of July to be off in like 13 years. But around 1 p.m., after leaving the Stockdale Highway Target, where he worked as a supervisor, Corey's car broke down. He was just mad because he just put a new battery and alternator in the car like two days before that. Luckily, he was just down the street from his stepdaughter's home where he and his wife were staying as they waited to move into a new place of their own. Corey's co-worker picked him up and brought him to get oil, taking this final photo of him. After that, Corey went back to the house, changed clothes, and walked back to his broken down vehicle. Around three, Corey's stepdaughter passed him on her way back to the house. He came up to the window and I asked him if he wanted, like, if he wanted me to get a tow, if he wanted to come home. And he said, no, I just want to stay right here and try to fix the car. Deanna went home to grab her AAA card and pick up her daughter. Not even 15 minutes went by before she returned to a very different scene. Honestly, I can't even grasp to who would do this to him. Off a patch of dirt on just outside his southwest neighborhood near the intersection of Buena Vista and Harris Roads, Corey had been shot to death while working on his car. Clues are few and far between, but witnesses told police a silver SUV was in that area about the time of the shooting. And my goal is to find out who did this because he didn't deserve it. He didn't have enemies. We only saw it on the news one time. One time for like two seconds. Never saw it again. He's never been mentioned. He's never been mentioned. Corey's loved ones feel he's been forgotten. And they say the hardest thing about losing him is not understanding why anyone would kill the man who led such a quiet, normal life. I am totally baffled. I don't have any idea. I never caught Corey hiding things from me. I thought we shared absolutely everything. And, uh... For him to just show up murdered, I don't, I can't figure out why. I want an answer. I really do. It's hard for me to explain because I can't understand. I can't. I'm going to counseling trying to figure this out myself. Because if I knew there was someone that he was mad at, or someone that I thought may have had something to do with this, I guarantee you I would tell you. I don't care who it was. I would tell you because I want justice for him. Law enforcement agree with a victim like Corey shot in the middle of the day in a quiet area. Motive isn't clear. Detectives say they're looking at every lead, including talk of the seemingly targeted murder having been meant for someone else. Family says whatever the reason is, no matter how difficult it'll be to learn, they need to know. We don't know if he was shot from the street. We don't know if he was shot close up. We don't know if it was uh, a long range. We have no answers whatsoever. If someone can do that to a guy working on his car, what's going to stop someone from doing that to me when I walk to the mailbox? If you have any information on Corey's case, you're asked to call the Bakersfield Police Department at 327-7111. And remember, you can always remain anonymous by calling Secret Witness at 322-4040. In studio, I'm Olivia LaVoice, 17 News.